the biggest influence on my musical taste was probably just the radio. I would just record the radio for two hours and then would just sort of listen to that on, on a Walkman. The first CDs I got were like Oasis and The Verve. So some of it was really pop, some was really left field, uh, and it's pretty much based on what the front cover looked like. But I think listening to a lot of quite melodic pop music when I was younger has filtered into my writing now so that the song is always at its core, but it, it's hopefully more tasteful than some of the things I was listening to as a child. As a place that inspires me musically, I'd say that the South Bank, but well that and the Barbican, those kind of basis cultural institutions. When I sit down and make something, if I'm thinking of playing it live, that's where my head space is. I'm a fan of the lengthy sound check, and with the show there's also a large visual element, so I just want to check that everything's absolutely right. I don't want to leave the stage until it's perfect. In terms of British artists that have influenced me on stage, something like David Bowie is a pinnacle of something I enjoy watching, though it's not something that I'll ever be able to emulate. What I do in the live show is it's very audio-visual. I think it's important that from the beginning to the end there's a kind of journey that you go on and it's not just simply song after song. The British crowd can be a great crowd, but I think so there's a line to be drawn between a London crowd and a Manchester crowd and a Glasgow crowd. And so if you go to a gig in Birmingham, people come and they watch the support with complete respect and intensity. And in London, I think you have to earn people's respect. If you do a good London gig, then that's obviously, it's a particularly hard to please crowd. Usually 30 seconds before I go on, I can feel my heart rate going up to dangerous levels. I'm on edge when I'm on stage for about 10 minutes, but I'd, I'd say I'm completely just going through the motions and that everything's rather a, a blur. And then beyond that, everything will probably start to sound better and I'll feel better.